Hello everyone, today is April 1st, it's 6.05 p.m. and today I'll be baking Paul Hollywood's White Bloomer Bread. I'm just whipping up the things I need, this huge mixing bowl I got on sale, and got my baking scale, and some flowers. Yeah, it says to use strong flour, but I don't have strong flour, I don't know where to find it, so all-purpose flour will do. And this little scale handled this big mixing bowl's weight. Ooh, let's try it, because I don't want to use anything else, you know? Uh, okay, I guess it works. Yeah. So these are some things I need. I wish they would tell me, because I don't know what to take out. So it says to add two teaspoons of yeast, but I'm going to add the whole thing. It says two and a quarter teaspoon. I don't want to waste it, so I'm going to put everything in. <laughs> Salt, flour, yeast, and I'm putting in the olive oil down the middle. Time to mix the ingredients. I need more arm strength. It's really heavy. I'm ready to knead. Here's oil on the surface and here's a sticky dough plop. How do people knead? It's so weird and sticky and hard. I need help. I've been kneading this for about 20 minutes. But I'm needing it more because it says to actually knead it for 5 to 10 minutes until it's silky and smooth. It's still sticky as you can see. I don't need another arm workout. Yay! It's finally silky and smooth! Gets off my hand now. So it's supposed to do this actually. Ready to poof. Gonna put some oil in here. And... It's 7, 10 p.m. The dough has entered its first proof and I am sweating from all the kneading. Ooh, it's been an hour. It looks bouncy. Yay! Woo! Oh my god, it's so fluffy. It's like, it feels like foam. Wow. Okay. Look at that. Gonna knock back the air out. Ten to one p.m. Going in for proving. It's eleven o three. Done with the second proof. It's risen pretty massive. Yay! Yay! I don't have a spray, so I'm gonna, I just watered my hand up. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. There's water so you can steam the oven. Like a stalker. My oven is so dirty. Dirty. Oven door is so dirty. Dirty. <laughs> dirty. So it should be done now. Let's see. The color is not that brown, so I want to bake it for another five minutes. I don't know how to check the bottom because it's so hot. Hmm. I baked it for five more minutes. It says it's supposed to be dark and sound hollow when tapped. It sounds very full. I'll bake for another 5 minutes. Yay, so I actually baked it for 10 more minutes. It's still not dark. I'm confused. But I'm gonna stop baking because it's 12.20 a.m. and I'm tired. I'm going to cool it overnight. Hello, today's April 2nd. It's 7.25 a.m. I left my bread to chill overnight and it looks crinkly. I don't know if that's because the moisture ran out since my house is so dry. Uh, it feels hard and heavy. I'll move it on to my tray. Let's check the bottom. Yeah, nice seam down the middle and it looks pretty even bake. Ta-da! It's time to cut my wrinkly on the ground. Oh, no. This is the inside. Mmm. Smells good. Nice and even texture. Let's have a taste. Mmm. This is nice and a little salty, maybe. Hmm. It's a little salty for me. I'll eat it though. Yay. English bloomer. 